Okay, this video is for anybody with a uh, Nest, the uh, learning thermostat. I don't know what version this is. Um, I think maybe number three. Um, so here's the deal on these. Uh, you're gonna hook, you know, you, I saw I bought a house and uh, went ahead and, and installed this just because I like the ability to control it from, you know, anywhere. Uh, all you have to do is you do have to have Wi-Fi and you can set up um, schedules and whatnot and you know it's just kind of, it's kind of like a I don't know for what it is I mean it came with this and then uh, I don't know if you can see that up there so it, came, it comes with two of those and you can put those anywhere in the house and you can have it actually functioning um, as a thermostat off of any of the sensors so what you're going to run into is the install is pretty quick okay and uh, you'll be skating along pretty good and then all of a sudden um, the AC is not going to be got, not going to be working so after two techs come out and tested this unit it uh, was apparent that nobody was really could could figure out what was going on so the the fan was blowing but it uh, there was no the compressor it almost felt like it was going into protect mode and uh, your your pipe here your low pressure side low pressure high pressure I don't remember exactly but anyway one of these is, is high pressure one of these is low pressure and uh, and they run to the compressor on the outside unit and what was happening is, is it was still blowing, but it wasn't blowing cold. Uh, there was no condensation, no sweat on this. Uh, it wasn't getting cold, which means you're not going to get cold air. So what Google tells you is that you do not need a common wire. And uh, by common wire, I mean there's, there's four or five different wires that can connect up. You know, you'll see a bundle of wires here that these, this strand right here runs to your thermostat. And then this other side runs to the board right here. All right, so what essentially is happening is, is this, uh, you see those connections there? Um, they're labeled, they're supposed to be color coordinated, color coordinated uh, to the wire color, but mine weren't, but it's fine. They're all, everything's working. So a couple of wires run to the outside unit and five, four or five wires run to your thermostat. Uh, what's happening is, is these things are, they don't have batteries in the thermostat. And so what, what it's doing is, is the thermostat is robbing power, uh, trying to keep its voltage up and it's not allowing your compressor to run. So, it's not actually your compressor going into, um, and this is for, so I have a gas furnace and then, you know, forced air. So there's the coils are there, furnace here, fan is here. Sorry, I don't know if you saw that or not. Fan is up in this area, um, goes across the coils up here, and then air goes into the ductwork up there. So in my house is, I mean, it's a 1960s built home. I mean, it's been remodeled and whatnot, but it's still, I mean, you can see there is insulation in the attic, but this thing, it, it struggles to stay cool. So uh, so the point of this video is to just share with people that might have this issue, okay? If you hook up your thermostat, this Google thermostat, and so during setup, so let me go to settings, so there's tons of network lock equipment. All right, so you click on equipment here. All right, so you see that the cool heat, power, and 24 volt common. So common is the one I did not have. So what I did is I moved from the G wire over to the common, okay? So now the G wire is your fan, and unless you don't really care to have your fan on, unless your air is blowing, unless cool air is blowing, you know, normally the, the fan kicks on when the cool kicks on or the heat. Um, so you don't necessarily need this green wire. 
uh, unless you do want to run the fan in the on position and not the kind of like the auto position. So anyway, you move the wire, the green wire over to the con or the G wire over to the common. All right. So give me a second here. Let me get out of the settings. And this thing's great once you get it working right. I mean, I'm not dogging this at all. Um, and then you're going to come over here. Okay. All right. And you're going to go back to that board and you're going to move. Do this a little better. All right. So you're going to move your whatever wire was hooked into the G spot here. Oh, shit. I can't believe I just said that. Um, any wire that's in this G terminal here, you're going to bump over. Now, mine was green. Uh, like I said, some systems, you know, if they were didn't have enough wire or whatnot, it might have been a different color. But you'll move that over to the common terminal, okay? So what that's doing is it's now giving 24-volt power to that head-up display or that display in there that is gonna allow it to not try to starve the system and kind of paras parasite the power away from other components of this system, because that's essentially what it's doing. The compressor, it does not have enough voltage to, to run. And so the fan will run, everything will run, but the compressor will not do its job, okay? But the second step in that is you've got, got to run a jumper from Y to G. All right, so what that does is, is Y is the cool, right? So the cool will come on, and, when, and since you have a jumper between the two now, the fan will come on. So as soon as the Y terminal lights up, okay, it will turn the fan on also, okay? So you will have fan, and you will have cold air. And what it'll do is this simple fix will make it to where you are not, your compressor is not starving for electricity and and you make sure that it's got the juice from you know for what it needs to do without your thermostat starving it for voltage okay because these these units have a, a certain level that they have to run at so this this right here I can't remember but if you go into into your settings here it will it will tell you if you go to technical info and power it needs a certain voltage here okay so I, I don't know what it is okay but if you don't have the correct voltage here it is not first off it is not going to stay connected to Wi-Fi okay so you won't be able to use it until, you know, this, you won't be able to use some of the features until this thing connects to Wi-Fi, okay? Meaning it won't be a smart thermostat, it'll just be a glorified programmable thermostat, okay, at that point. So what you gotta do is make sure this thing is not sucking the system dry for power, okay, so it can function, okay? now. If you didn't, buy, if you bought this to be just a regular old thermostat, then I don't know why you would spend two hundred forty dollars to to have the same functionality as a fifty dollar one. So I, I know that they'll say that you do not need a common wire. Now my house, like I said, it's a little older of a home, but this needs a common wire in some applications. Okay, so if you're running into snags and you're and you're you know you're calling HVAC techs over and they're checking your refrigerant or and they're checking the compressor and they're checking you know high side low side and, and everything is coming out you know the split is coming out great I mean it, it's gonna seem like they're gonna start quoting you for a compressor because they're gonna think the kill switch is going out on the, the or the the over the protect switch is going out to protect the compressor they're gonna start quoting you compressors okay so what you got to do is just if you remember installing this and you remember not having a common wire and them saying that they that you necessarily didn't need one okay do what i just did all right give it 24 volts i give it a common wire from you know from your motherboard over here or i don't know if it's a motherboard but you know from the from the board that will normally be located inside of your furnace, okay? 
and then um, and then run you know run that hot and let that thermostat get the juice it needs and you should be good to go okay so I hope this helps somebody um, man I was changing filters I didn't know I didn't know if there was an air restriction now I did clean the outside condenser and it needed it okay so you you do need to you know maintain your your AC you know properly but there again if that's your if you if you feel like that might be your issue try that and see how it works and I hope this helps somebody because uh, it cost me five or six hundred dollars in in techs coming out for for visits and uh, and they still couldn't figure it out and uh, and so we hopefully like I said somebody sees this video and saves themselves some money and, and it's a good it's an easy five minute you know fix to uh, to get that done all right all right thanks for watching.